Hand here, here with Gypsy Fay Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today is an all-natural deodorant. I've never made one before and I've never used one before. Don't want to get into too much TMI, but I do have a weird armpit and it's the problem child and I thought there is no all-natural deodorant out there that can touch this. I was wrong. I was very surprised. I went out and bought this humble deodorant and it has five simple ingredients, coconut, oil, um, cornstarch, beeswax, baking soda, and essential oils. There's no aluminum, no alcohol dyes, parabens, or artificial backside, so it sounds like it's really good. And I thought, hey, I can make that. That sounds simple enough. So I'm going to mix up a few little things on it, kind of customize it. I can't make claims to any of the ingredients that I'm putting into this deodorant. If you want to Google them, feel free to, because each one of them has special properties to it, but I'm not the FDA, so Google it or just take my advice on it. Um, thanks so much again for tuning into this video. I know I've mentioned to you guys before, I want to do some new projects, maybe not always soap, so I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's make some all natural deodorant. So the five ingredients that were in that deodorant, I'm gonna just add a little bit more, a little bit of a customization onto that. Um, show you what I'm working with here. I've got some cocoa butter in here. There's some beeswax, which I had to have the hubby break up because that stuff was like a huge block and I just didn't know how I was supposed to get it into chunks. Um, shea butter, no, let me start over. Cocoa butter, beeswax, and coconut oil. Um, I've got my tubes here. I got these from Wholesale Supplies Plus. They come in a pack of 12. I've counted 13 tubes and 12 lids. I don't know what that's about. It's like a baker's dozen, but then what am I supposed to do with the extra one? In here I have baking soda and arrowroot powder. I'm going to add a little bit of activated charcoal to this. Not too much. You don't want like black armpits, but just a little bit. Again, look up any of these ingredients online and you'll get an idea of what each one is good for. And then I'm going to scent this in some lavender essential oil and then I have some basil because I really liked that scent in the one that I bought. So I'm going to make that scent in this as well. I'm going to stick all of these onto a double boiler, melt them down to a liquid, and then mix everything together. It seems like it's going to be pretty simple, pretty basic. Um, Self-explanatory, no issues on this, so fingers crossed, <laughs> let's get this melted down. Alright, so now that that is all melted down, I'm going to add just a tiny little bit of act activated charcoal to this. Mix that, this is really hot. And then I'm going to slowly add the, sorry, thinking here. <laughs> arrowroot powder and baking soda to this. I'm trying to get all the clips broken up here. Oh, that looks lovely. Alright. Woo! Just mix this in little by little until it's all incorporated. Get all those clumps out of there. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> Doesn't look so good right now. So if you guys have been around for a while, you know that we have cats. We are cat people. Um, I have three of them. I started off with only having one that someone gave to me and I was like, I don't like cats. They smell and they're bad and they climb on everything and they mess up your furniture and then they scratch you and hide. <laughs> but this cat that I was given, it's Gypsy was, is her name, she turned out to be the most loving, affectionate, sweetest cat ever, and so therefore I was hooked on cats after that. We've since got three more, and the last one that I got turned into be to the little poop that he is, that is the one that hides under the bed all the time. But we like cats around here, so does my one of my best friends, Sarah, 
And we are always looking for things to do on the weekends with like little couple dates with Bradley and her husband and I. And she found this cat show. And we went to it. <laughs> I never imagined myself going to a cat show, but we did. And it was very educational. Some people are very into their cats. They worship them. <laughs> they show them off, they dress them up, they groom them, they treat them like their children. And there are so many cats at this place that I was like, I didn't know half these half of these breeds even existed. I mean, I've heard of like Maine Coons, I've heard of Bengals. Um, I'm trying to think what other, there's some funny looking cats there. One of them had like the ears and eyes of Dobby from Harry Potter. I was like, what the heck is that? Um, Aussie cats? I guess that's how, O-C-I, hmm, let me look this up. <laughs> All right, they were Siamese, Persians, exotics, Maine Coon cats, Tonkinese, OCI cats, OC, Aussie, I don't know how you say that. Um, just lots and lots of cats there, and they even had um, a couple different rinks where they were showing the cats, and they were winning awards, and they all, there's like 160 cats in this one room, so it didn't smell very good, but once you get in there, I guess you get used to it. <laughs> And they had a whole bunch of raffles, so they had tables and tables filled with different things, and if you paid $20, you got like 60 tickets. It's a lot of tickets to win on raffles, and it was just tables of stuff, like from wine and candles and gift baskets, and people made things. Of course, I had cats on it, from blankets to sweaters and scarves. Um, we decided to enter a raffle, and I did win something. We won a little um, movie popcorn set. I'll show you guys that. They had a few crafters there. Um, I did buy a little Christmas decoration. And yeah, we left happy. It was a fun experience. We can say we did it. <laughs> All right, so then I'm gonna continue mixing this up. I'm gonna add in some fragrance. Let's add in a few drops of lavender into this. This is a very funky color. With deodorant, you should probably use um, deodorized and bleached things, like the be beeswax should have probably been um, white and the cocoa butter could have been white too. I didn't want to do any of that. I just wanted to use what I had and I'm sure it'll be just as good. Had a couple drops of the basil in there. And then I'm gonna let this cool off a little bit. Probably transfer it into something that I can pour easily into those tubes. But I'm gonna let this cool before I start pouring it. All right, so I am going to gracefully try to pour this mixture that is thickening up here. Then I've transferred it into, all right, that graceful part each one of these. I might have to reheat this at the end. All right, let's start with this guy. Gracefully, she pours. <laughs> Put that one to the side there and let's try this again. All right, I'm gonna try heating this up again and pouring the rest of it. <laughs> All right, that heated up pretty nicely. So I'm gonna just continue pouring here. I'm gonna just go back over and fill up some of these and then I'm gonna let them sit so that I can put the lids on them. You want them to cool before you do that. Ooh. And then once 
ones are done. I'll give them a try. I'll label them. And then I'll leave them for you guys in the Etsy shop. So that was pretty easy. Painless. Let me know if there's any combinations or scents that you guys would like to see or buy. I can have them whipped up. Alright, so they're all cooled off, so I'm just going to clean them up. I just took a um, cloth, a damp cloth, and just wiped around it, trying to get as much as anything that had spilled over off of it. If you're a neat freak like me and you want these to be perfect on top, I did take a heat gun to them and just heat the tops of them so that they were a little more consistent on top. So, let's continue cleaning these off. If you guys are interested in buying these, I'm going to have them in the shop. Um, I think I'm going to keep this as a regular in-stock item. I'm going to continue making these. So check out the Etsy shop. I thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned after this video. I'll post some kitty cat pictures and videos from the show and whatever it is that I won. <laughs> um, any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section down below. If you are new, please don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, hit that bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. And until next time, I hope you guys have a very nice day and I will smell you later. So this is one of the pieces of art that I bought off a craft vendor. Flat Cats is the name of her business. Absolutely adorable. She just paints these little kitty cats all over these cool Christmas decorations and other things. She had like ornaments and such. There's even a little kitty cat on the back there. So that is my newest Christmas collection for this year. And then for the raffle I won this movie theater movie stack kit. It has like M&Ms and popcorn in it. This red velvet cupcake mug. It comes with the mug and then the batter to make a cupcake inside of it in the microwave and then we got some Christmas movies we've got Miracle on 34th Street on DVD and Arthur Christmas and I've never seen this one and it's been a very long time since I've seen this one so we're gonna have a movie Christmas marathon while eating this junk food here um, for Christmas so that is a lot of fun stay tuned for the cute kitty cats coming after this Brian Pearson in ring six is pleased to. Sweet thing. I have a boy. That came from, um, that one came from Sheila. Uh Garfield. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Gotta get the tail. Oh, nice. Having a little too much fun. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Get it. Get it. Sounds like where'd it go? <laughs>
Look at the underneath of the falls are so pretty. 